Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome to the 15th episode of the Isengard campaign. Today we are besieging the great armament of Sauron himself, Barad-dûr. Now we are, the enemy is just camping at the town center at the time being. We are sending our large army onto the gate and we're just going to go right in as we can. It doesn't look like they're going to sally out either, so we are going to be able to establish ourselves properly, it looks like. And there it goes already. Now we have seen Baradur in two of my other campaigns already. Both in the Gondorian one and in the Imladris one. Actually, I never think... I don't, I don't think we actually... Siege it out in the Gondorian one. I just think we we made the enemy sell out. So we never saw Barador itself. But in the Imladis one, the last episode, we take down Barador. Now, so I actually recorded this episode once, but I my micro my microphone didn't really re register, so I had to record this again. So this is now the second time I'm recording this episode. So I was thinking about just dropping it, but I thought you guys wanted to see Barador and Kaskalaton. So I actually managed to show you a bit more than it was originally intended. But that was of course a mistake. So it's going to be exciting to record this episode again, I guess. Now uh, we are going to send these guys over here. And we're going to send the Uruk Reavers in the middle. We're going to use our trash uh, first and then just pull some more uh, elites after that. I'm actually going to walk this way with most of my troops. And I guess we could send a couple up here as well. We're sending these guys. Actually, these guys, we're going for these guys. Uh, the reavers are going here, and with them we could, yeah, potentially send one of these guys. It does look like they are going to send some more archers over here. Alright, I want to catapult up here as well. The plan is going to be, actually I don't want these trolls to get targeted by these archers, they can really just fox them down quite easily. So this is the town center. You have like, oh wow, it's a bit messy to move around here. But you have this uh, path and this path, which leads down to this path, this path and this path. So it's very easy to defend. I usually, when I defend, just hold at this uh, particular spot right here. I found that to be the most useful. These guys are going to be able to engage these archers now. And I guess we could send some trolls over here now and just aid in that battle. Not that we really need it. Now these guys are going through here. So we just simply need to bring down these archers quickly. The Reavers are incoming here, okay, let's just hit these arches and they will start to occupy over here, which is the plan. Oh, these guys actually made it over here, that's nice. These guys, I suppose, can just stay here for now. We're going to flank around with these guys and these guys are going to hit the Orc arches. Now, we don't really want to clump up all of these units. But we're going to be able to to route these archers in not very long, so it's it's completely fine. These guys are actually getting targeted by the Javis. That's fine, we don't really want all of these units anyways. We ha actually have too many units in this army. Now you guys just flank very quickly. Get rid of these guys once and for all. Lurch as well, just go straight through. These guys should route any minute now. And then we're going to establish ourselves on the top here. Right, 
I guess we could speed this up a little bit. It is still very buggy to play on this map, definitely. Now that's surely going to route them. There we go, alright. Now we're going to send these guys up here. I suppose we could send in... Let's send in the pikes. Okay, I think we need to do one at a time. They're actually just very bugged, it looks like. Now you guys go up here. Berserkers as well, go up here. And Lurch as well. Alright, let's just speed this up. We're going to get the catapult up here and we're going to be able to just fire straight into the guys, which is at the town center, which is going to be very nice. And this spear guard, I suppose we can send over here now. I guess these guys took a couple more hits from those Javis, but it's it's just fine. Now let's just stand these guys right here. Or actually just charge them in, it's only orc fighters. They should be able to start chewing up these units by quite a bit. The berserkers are on their way. These guys also need to follow through. These guys are fine. These guys should go up here. And now the other troll unit comes in as well. Let's just send them in. Let's just wreak havoc with these trolls. The pike is not far behind. Can't really flank as much as I had hoped for. Let's try to bring these guys at least a bit more to this side. But it looks like it's very hard to manage on this uh, map. But Berserkers combined with Trolls, that's definitely a dangerous combo. And when you throw in some Pikes as well, that's just going to be devastating for these guys. This is some real elites now. Seeing Trolls, Berserkers and Pikes together. This is what we have been waiting for for a long time. And not only are we going to see the battle for Bardur this episode, as I mentioned, uh, the battle for Karas Galadhorn as well. And I have already played it, of course, so I know what's going to happen. And it's going to be a very close battle. And I can guarantee you, it's not certain that we're going to win the battle. It is very even. And I like, it's going to be very even. Alright, these guys, let's try to get them up here. Now, these guys are just chewing up these units very quickly now. Lurch as well, just get up here. Now, we're probably throwing in a bit too many units here at, at once. I, I suppose that's just fine. Just give them another charge. These guys are going to hold up fine. You guys can just stay here. Let's go up here as well. Let's see if we can actually try to flank around with these guys now. I have found the Urkai infantry to be much better in this version and they were actually buffed. Uh, so I definitely recommend getting as many as you can of them. They're very solid, solid unit now. Much more solid than they were before. Let's run them over here and just surround these Uruks from the side. And Lurch is just going to go straight into there with some abilities. We're probably going to lose a lot of these trolls. The trolls are kind of surrounded after all. Now it's going to be nice using the catapult over here, just chewing off into this blob. So far we have not lost a lot and we're doing very fine. Now the pikes, they have only lost one unit each, one orc each I mean. Now let's try to get them a bit more engaged. I suppose we could send these uh, infantry up here as well. These guys are actually starting to lose a bit now. Yeah the trolls have taken a beating, but that's fine. 
we be able to replenish them quite easily. And it's the Olokai that we really want. Those are the elites, boys. Alright, let's get them up here. Alright, these guys are actually not even in melee anymore. I'm going to surround these guys over here. If we can get these guys through. We're down to the last troll now. But we're not taking any casualties on the other troops, so it's it's kind of, it's just fine. Oh, it would have been so nice to just give a catapult shot down here. That would have been awesome. But uh, surrounding them with berserkers is just as fine. And there the general goes. Captain Drango. Not the same Drango that we have, of course, in the Angmar campaign. Oh, let's see if we can actually bring some havoc down here with this catapult that would have been so cool if we can just shoot straight into these guys i think it could actually be possible these guys are doing very nice now all right let's let's try this out this is going to be very interesting to see <laughs> all right i think we need to place it like over here let's see if that's going to work out actually there's no worry about our troops, they're just slaughtering these guys by now. We have barely lost any men at all. Last last time we lost like 300 orcs, let's see if we're going to perform better this time. I'm not sure. <laughs> we might get some friendly fire here, but I think it's just going to be worth it just to watch how this is going to be. Alright, uh, these guys are almost entirely done for. No, it's not going to be able to fire. Let's just speed this battle up by now. It's it's over. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. These berserkers have max experience. They have been at the battles of Kirit Angle and everything. Our men no longer command the castle. All right, they're getting slaughtered now. And over here, we're still performing very well. We still have one reaver left, that's cool. After these guys are done, we're going to send the pikes over here. Alright, so let's send in the pikes here. That's definitely going to slaughter these boys. We're going to win on time this time. Alright. It will be nice to have Barador. We can actually recruit Nazkai out of Barador as well. So that's going to be a very nice addition. Pikemen in such a choke point is just devastating for these guys. Pikes will do perform very well in such a situation. In a choke point, they're at their best. Alright. They're routing now. We're getting tons of kills with these guys. It's very nice. We're going to get lots of experience. Just look at this, they're just getting completely... We're just going to get all the experience. I don't care if we lose a little bit more. It's just worth it for the experience. And it's cool to have killed all the orcs. There we go. Beautiful. But I'm doing ours. I actually lost, I think, almost as much as I did last time. That's kind of cool. Berserkers, Reavers, Berserkers performing very well. Trolls did also pretty well, but... <laughs> the Berserkers actually did better. But that's probably because we sent the trolls all in on their own. You kind of want to support them with another unit, then they're going to perform much better. And using trolls as a flanking force is the best way to use them, in my opinion. I love this picture of the fall of Sauron. All right, let's sack this place. Baradur is ours. Conqueror of Baradur. Nice, all right. There you see, Nazkai, 17 turns. Let's get the beast training ground. And I'm going to call this Kututas Saruman. Which means Saruman Citadel. All right, cool. 
We have the ethyl stone now. Uh, is there anything we could ruin here? Not really. I suppose we could just head out with more troops and just go straight for Morigos now. This army is still here. I'm hoping they will attack Orcobal. Let's just go over here. I think they're going to be able to attack us. And these guys are blocking them and then we can attack with Orcobal. It's going to be a nice exchange. Now, I really want some wargs in this army. That has been needed. I'm just going to use this army just as a scout. Don't really see anyone there. Alright, let's merge these units and these units. Yeah, let's get all the berserkers. Let's get an elite army out of here. Let's just get all the archers as we are used to. Let's get the catapult and yeah, we're going to wait with this guy. But they are going to be fine. And we'll be able to recruit some more units there in not too long. And if we send all of these guys here, they will be there in one turn. Ah, um, Mautak is actually here. We might want to reinforce this army then. Let's just send these guys on their way as well. Let's just get a proper army up and going there. And in the next turn, yeah, let's just start heading over here. They're probably going to besiege Badur to be able to defend quite easily. And Morigos looks very empty as well. Alright, let's just check. These guys are heading north. And Gastruk is also on his way north. Uh, we can ex uh, get rid of this unit. I respect you, my enemy. All right, here the battle is going to fall, boys. It's going to be interesting. It will be an honor. Let's get these guys over here as well. We're going to need to reinforce Tower He can't reach us at the moment. We should get some more troops here though. We'll have to wait a little longer. But we'll get the barracks next turn so we can get half our spear guard and such. I just removed the unit that was inside here. No big deal. Now let's hope that Findigil actually attacks us here. And Lundluck is on his way. So stand here. Working as a little spy. Things are still spies down here. And that's it for what we can do this turn. Yeah, they're going to capture that fort, no biggie. Alright, Lothlorien is probably going to attack us now. And I'm looking very much forward to that battle. It's very interesting. Of course they have... Only elites. We have a couple of elites. Yeah, they attacked. Just look at this. They have the Elbert Swordsman. They they cost one thousand three hundred. They have twenty five total defense, fifteen armor, and eighteen attack. That's just god stats. Same with these guys. Fifteen attack. They them them also, and they have thirty two defense. Yeah, fifteen versus eighteen attack. Alright, we're just going to see you on the battlefield. These guys have nine missile attack. They're all very powerful units. But I'll see you on the battlefield. Alright, we're here. And I did something I forgot last battle. And that's placing these stakes. And they do have a lot of loyal scouts. So that's going to be very useful. I'm going to try to run my wargs out of here. And we're just going to start targeting these Galadrim Marsh Wardens. Because they are monsters. They are targeting our wargs. And Saruman should be able to bring down these Elbert Sentinels as well. We're just going to run our wargs out of here. Make them chase us and... Perhaps get some... Some hits onto these Lord Scouts actually. But these guys, the Galadrim Marsh Wardens, 
they have little armor, so we're going to be able to deal some great damage to them if we use our arrows wisely. So that's definitely what we're going to do. The works are actually in melee with these guys now. They are going to get slaughtered though. Let's try to get another charge out for these guys. These works are more like uh, just trying to um, take some attention of the en enemy while we just send in these arrows. The Elbert Sentinels have already dropped quite much. It's because of Saruman. Alright, let's try to just get another charge in over there. And s let's see how it works out. This is kind of like a sacrifice unit. And now we're just going to be able to send all our arrows. And so far we are doing very fine. Now this Orthanc Guard is actually supposed to stand up here. So let's run them over there. These guys are just in reserve right here. And these guys as well is going to stand like right here. So, so far we have actually brought down a lot of their archers as you see. So it's not an impossible task. And the Elbert Sentinels are getting sh completely shredded by Saruman. To be honest, they had 48 when the battle started. And bringing down their general is definitely a good strategy. Now these guys should probably shoot these guys as well. And you guys can... Yeah, the elves are... The March Wardens are getting targeted. But they are now probably running inside, so let's just try to hit these guys over here. Oh yeah, these guys need to go out of this mode. And let's hope they form up properly. Let's hope that these scouts will get some... will get wrecked by these... Um, Alright, now all of you are just hit these guys. Now we should probably get a lot of kills if we are lucky. Let's hope that all of the scouts run straight into the into the stakes. Yeah, it looks like they got slaughtered. And we are in a huge lead. This is going to be a slaughter. Look at this. Now, Elbert Swordsman, you definitely want to target those. We are going to get arcing shots now though. Uh, hopefully though, Salomon will get some nice hits still. Now he's he got arcing shots as well. But you can see they will still get get shredded because Salomon's uh, missiles is just so powerful. Now we definitely want to get Salomon like use up all his ammo very quickly so that we can start focusing on using him in melee. Because he is going to be needed in melee. Now we have these guys in reserve. Let's play them like this. That looks like a very nice position. Or thank God is standing very greatly there. Or thank God, let's put them over here. I mean, um, the Urka infantry. They're actually the Legio 1 from Isengard, which is quite cool. It looks like our missiles are doing a very nice job at the moment. They are getting some kills. Let's look at how Saruman's missiles are, is doing. Yeah, these guys have actually lost a couple of units. Not very many though. But this is a very important battle. If we lose this battle, there's no way the Nazkai is going to spawn. We need Saruman to keep the ring ringwraiths. Uh, that was a really bad pronunciation. Sorry about that. These arrows isn't doing very badly though. They are landing properly, even though they're not very effective. Uh, you could, we could actually have sent Saruman up on these ladders right here and sent some arrows down. Let's try to do that with these guys. But I just need, I need Saruman to be here alive because he's going to be needed in melee not too long. That's why I'm doing it like that. There we go. It's, yeah, we're in a huge lead at the moment, but their elites is soon going to start uh, going into melee and then we're going to lose a lot of units very quickly. Now these guys actually have to go all the way over here to properly go up this wall. 
But it's going to be interesting to see how that wall turns out to work. Alright, so let's take a look at some of these units. Sentinels of Sen Amrot. They have a lot of armor, so Saruman is going to be able to bring some damage upon them. But they have 14 attack, so they're quite a deadly unit. I think we have actually seen most of these guys in the previous episodes. Ah, uh, these arcing shots is actually working very well. I'm quite surprised. Is there any angle that I could have used Saruman to get some proper shots? I doubt it. it. Seems like these shots are doing very nicely at the moment though. Let's just try to aim for the sentinels. These guys are now out of ammo. They will probably be needed. Actually, I'm tempted to send these guys back. And let the archers go first. Is the general over here? No, it's just much ones. Yeah, there we go. That's much better arcing shots than before. It's not optimal, but it works. These guys are soon to be here. It's going to be interesting to see how they will perform. Now you see these Bainguard have taken some hits. These Spearmen are a defensive unit, so they will hold up for much longer. They have sent the Mars ones into melee, but they will still perform very well. Because they are an excellent unit. Right, let's just be a bit aggressive here. Elbert Swordsmen are now not far from us. 87, we have brought them down quite a bit, considering it's the Elbert Swordsmen. This is nice. We're going to use the voice of Saruman when it's really needed. This is the weird mechanics of medieval two top war. Now the works would have been handy in this situation, but we did just just look at this carnage. We got a lot of kills here. It was very much worth it. All right, now these guys are here. This is going to be interesting to see if they get proper shots or not. But I just want to have Saruman over here. He's just needed uh, when these guys run out of ammo. Oh, these guys are actually getting perfect shots. That's very nice. Right, you guys are needed over here now. This is really cool. I have not used this tower like this before. But having Saruman up there would definitely have been a very good idea, I, I see now. Because he crossbows on such an angle is just perfect. Now just stay in guard mode. These guys are already out of ammo though. We need to send them over here again. If we could potentially get some... Nah. We're not going to be able to get uh, other than arcing shots from this situation. From this position. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. It's just a grindy... Fet... Grindy... It's just a grandy battle at the moment. If we continue like this, we will now this is definitely looking good. And I don't know if you have seen this, but Archie Gal uh, did actually play multiplayer deck, and I'm I'm really looking forward to playing some multiplayer deck. So I need to investigate how you can do that, and I would love to play multiplayer deck with you guys. That would have been awesome. Alright, so I'm actually getting tired at this point. Now I can soon send in these uh, Urkai infantry. At the moment we are doing very nicely though. The Elbert Sentinels are in the front line, which means we are going to do very well. Now these archers are going to go down, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just wait a little bit longer. 
Alright, now give a charge straight into these Elbert guards. Uh, these guys are powerful. How many are there left? 69, but still very healthy. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Or thank God it's still not even in melee though. That's very nice. And Saruman Nader. We are going to win this battle by much more than I did last time. Actually not. Try to get a proper angle before you come in here. I guess we could send Saruman over on this side. Oh thank god is isn't even in melee. That's so excellent. Alright, now let's just send him in. Only half our force remains. Let's use the ability. And let's send in the oh, thank god as well. Now we're just going to completely surround these guys. Wow, these Lauren Scouts, man. Let's try to just bring those down with this arch unit. These guys have probably been firing for the whole battle, that's really cool. So cool that the Liga 1 is now here. And capture the ring with Saruman. These horse archers is actually very incredible. If you're playing as Lauren, definitely bring them. They can be devastating. These guys are just completely surrounded by now, but they still are pretty healthy, just proving how great they really are. Alright, these guys are not going to be able to capture this guy. And now, though, just try get him down. The general has still not fallen. He's still here, only three left though. Should fall in not too long. These guys took out the last horseman. Now get in here. Our army is tiring. It's only a matter of time now. It has been a costly battle though. 71 left only. Now Saruman, I want you to really go in here. Just slaughter him. He is going to perform very well against the Elbert Swordsman and Elbert Guards because he's army piercing. Alright, where is the general now? We're going to be able to pull this off. It's beautiful. Alright, it's just a general left now, I think. And there he goes to the... Oh, thank God. Wow, beautiful. 859 lost, 1645 killed. Saruman gaining 430 kills. Wow. And Urkai Arch is doing very well as well. Uh, what about the Urka infantry as well? Nice. Now, when I recorded this episode last time, I took much bigger losses, which is nice because then I have learned a bit about that battle. Then we only had like 10 Urka infantry left. The big uh, change was just that I placed out stakes this time, which just brought down a lot of cavalry, making it much easier. Because elven cavalry is still monsters in melee. Right, let's just execute them. Oh, Jesus. Alright, we're not going to be able to pull this battle off. I didn't actually see those troops. That's weird. They were probably hiding or something. But we will have reinforcements on our way. We'll get to be able to recruit the Bane Garden next turn. Oh, they're actually going for us, Thor, instead. That's a bummer. Defend the camp. 
and they are bringing lots of more armies. I'm thinking we should probably try to eliminate the armies outside, let them take Oskthor and then let them split captain the the army they have besieging Oskthor. Because we just can't take on that army by ourselves. Alright. Mathufka. Benefasian. Gorgoth lost. Yes! Beautiful. Oh, we took some hits over here. I've actually forgotten to rename this place as well. Let's rebuild those stuff. Mouse the Tyrant. Alright, you guys are going to go inside Tower Loaders now. Othrod, you go go down here. Alright, that's going to be fine. Now let's merge a couple of units. These guys we can bring down. We still have a fairly healthy army here. Yeah, this is going to be enough to hold. I'm going to take down Malsag with this war unit. Got more units. Remember, we're still besieging out Castle Doom, which is very useful. Now let's get the Dark Temple up here. And now we have these armies. Right, you guys hit Rockburg. I really could use some works in that army as well, to be honest. We're going to send them up for next turn. I think we're fine with units up there. Now Ilkrun is here, we're definitely just going to attack him with Orkobal. Just going to wait a little bit before I do that battle. Maltak is also going to be able to be brought down in a sweep. I'm just going to alter all that, didn't care less. Let's bring in these guys, even though we should probably send these guys up here, and the works should go here, and then we just head for Morigost. Okay, nice. Now we can get some more trolls, that would supposedly be nice. Get some more trolls here as well. You get in there. You as well. Let's get the beast training ground in here. Alright, so now Pelilas could probably be brought down. And Durdi. Uh, let's probably... Hmm. Let's bring these guys over here. Let's take down Durdir as well. These guys are on their way, but they're not really a threat at all. We definitely need some more units here, though. Because they ha yeah, they're bringing more units. Alright, let's just wait a little bit with this beast training ground just for a little bit and let's just recruit some more units here instead let's get that garrison unit in that settlement let's get some more berserkers 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 nice Let's just get them everywhere. I, I really just want to have very large garrisons in these settlements. We can actually afford two more units here. And that's all our money spent. Now I'm going to fight... I'm going to uh, it's another one up there as well. 
I want to fight Orkabal, I mean Ilkrum with Orkabal and Durdir with Loghorn off camera and I will be right back. Ilkrum's army was utterly slaughtered, a lot of them escaped though but it matters not, we lost almost no orcs. 210 versus 2528. Now I need to end this episode a bit quicker today. But it still has been 40 minutes and two epic battles. So I think that's okay. I'm just going to end the turn and we'll see what will happen for the next um, turn. See if there's any interesting battles we have to take care of. Let's execute them all. Uh, but I am going to leave him at Moranon for now. It's indeed important to have some troops remaining there. Let's just see. Three, three, plus four. All right, seven units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Um, a couple of these guys could probably just go with you just to have some archers. And in here. Let's just place these guys. And you can head for Kupta Saruman. We have nice plants most places now. Haudanor. And we took care of Durudir. I just ultra sold it. It went very well. Helilas. And we are getting the troops we need here. Not long until we can start recruiting those Nazkai. And these guys will be able to take care of this settlement. Alright, let's uh, just take care of the Mausag as well and I will see you right after battle. Alright, there he goes down. With some temple wards it looks like. Let's end the battle there. Could probably adopt a general here as well. Ah, uh, the Lord Finwell's horse looks very noble. Now, because I have already pre-recorded this episode, I know at what turn we will get the Nazkai. And it's not many turns now, guys. Uh, we'll, pr we'll probably see them in the next episode, or we'll definitely see them in the next episode. So look forward to seeing some Nazkai in this next episode. Yeah, let's just adopt him. It's useful to have some more generals. Okay, let's just end the turn and we'll see what will happen in this world. And then it's going to be the end of this episode. I'm going to publish a lore video, uh, I think tomorrow, but don't worry, the uh, Remnants of Angmar episode will be up the day after, no worries. Just need to mix in some You're lore videos here and there. I think it's really interesting and I'll learn a lot of making them. And it's definitely, I want to make lore videos as well as normal campaigns on this channel. All right. Faction announcements, construction, oh wow, uh, nice. Get ready for fighting. No now, in this army it would probably be useful with a couple on, works, at least one unit. But these guys could probably head out over here. And these guys could just siege out this place. Nagpur. Just can you? Yeah, it's just going to be the fast way. Now I want to get the Dark Temple up here. I think that's going to be very useful. Ugluk is still just sieging out that place. Orkubal. Ishtarak is on his way. And we already have a full garrison here. 
That's wonderful. Now his army is actually refreshed in a bit. We're just going to go straight for Morigost. There's not really much these guys can do. These are just re remnants of the army we brought down over here. Now Orcabal go back here. We get some free upkeep. Let's save up for the beast training ground. We can actually get trolls here. We can wait a little bit with the elites. Making 10,000 again. Nice. He's still just sieging out. I just don't think we're going to be able to bring down this army. It's just so great. So actually we're going to cancel this building. And let's stand these guys here. Oh, we probably have to deal with uh, Steward Mayanon. And this uh, army is pathetic. Can probably just auto solve that. Yeah. Great. Good job. Now we want to bring down these guys now. Probably have waited another turn. That's fine. We'll get some more berserkers and just fill up with nice infantry. I suppose it's nice to just have these guys here for now. And Chieftain Ulayron is, is on his way. That won't really bother us at all. Okay, we can actually we actually have time to auto solve or um, end another turn. That's very nice. Let's end it there. So my plan is to send a Naskai to Rune with a large army. We're going to bring down Rune. The fire culture is going to be brought down by the fire itself. Because the Naskai, they carry Nathva bombs before they go into melee. In melee they are utter monsters. But before they go into melee, they send like missiles which have like 12 damage. That's the same as Elven Javelins. And then they are overpowered in melee. That should say something about them. Alright, we're going to bring down that steward. It will be no problem. The camp. Oh, jeez. That army is already headed west. This could potentially be some trouble. But if we start sieging Uzg Thor again, it's probably fine. Gondor is... Putting up a brave defense. Now Elidon's here. He will be brought down by Wargs as well. Lots of Berserkers. I like that. Uzgokut can upgrade now. Let's leave another unit here. Probably some of these guys. I suppose these guys can just go here now. And we are building the beast ground, nice. Uskator was sacked. Now we have a proper garrison here. Let's bring down a couple of these units which we don't really need. Now it looks much better as well. And we're just going to start sieging this place out. Should probably have a ram built as well. But I hope that these guys are going to attack me now. I don't really think so, but it's worth hoping for. Alright, two of these guys can go to Gunbull Scooters. Ah, in Oitimor, I believe we have some space. Ah, jeez. Yeah, these guys will actually get free upkeep there. Nice. Getting more trolls. Just going to save some coffers here and there. Nice. 
guys. These guys are fine as they stand. Just holding out that settlement. These guys have taken Fanny Long now, finally. Lean here is, has a large garrison. Wow. Alright, so we're going to take down Sud Mayanon. And that is going to end this battle. Uh, this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We had two very great uh, battles. I look forward to a lore episode. And the Angmar campaign will continue as usual. Now in two turns the Nazca is going to appear. I can reveal that. So next episode we're finally going to see the Nazca. And we could probably attack some Enoath troops with them just to see, see them in action. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Support me through Patreon if you want. And I'll see you guys for the next episode.